Hey guys, welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In this one, we're gonna make a safe system for the player. So the first thing that I've done is created, of course, a new Unity project, but I've also made a plane where the player can walk on and two cubes right here. I've also created the player, which will be able to move with this movement script. Of course, this is not necessary for the tutorial. It's just for demonstration. All right, so what I've done is just a movement. I've created a um, capsule and added my movement script and a rigid body to the capsule. All right, so with that, the player can now move. The problem is that if we move, for example, in front of this blue box and exit out, then our position doesn't really save because the player is still at the starting position. And at the end of the tutorial, we'll hopefully make it so that the player position is saved. All right, so basically what you need to do is right click in your assets and of course create a new c -sharp script. We'll just call it save. All right, double click it to open it up in Visual Studio. And once we are in here, the first thing that we're gonna do is create a public transform, which we will call layer. All right. So next in update, what you will, what you want to do is say player prefs dot set float, and we name it player position x, and you want to set that to your layer position dot x. Now the thing with player prefs is that you can only save one number at a time. So we actually have to split up the player position in X, Y, and Z. And this is why we will actually copy this two times. Right? And in the second one, we'll say player position Y. You're also at a Y. And in the last one, of course, player position Z. All right. So at the moment, we save the player position in update. But the problem is, if we start the game, we don't actually set the player to the safe position. So this is what we're gonna do next. For that, you can just create three floats. The first one we'll just call X. The second one we'll call Y. And the third one we'll call Z. Now what you wanna do is set the first float to player prefs. This time we will say uh, dot set Flow. No, not set float. Uh, get float. That's what I wanted to do. Get float, and we'll get the. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. We'll get the PPX. All right. You can just copy that again and paste it. Oh, paste it once down here and once down here. And of course, replace that with Y and the bottom one with Z. All right, so the last thing that we're gonna do is we'll set the player dot position to a new vector three. Vector three. You can just type X, Y, and Z. These are the three floats that we actually created here. All right. So now just save your script and go back into Unity. And on under the player, you can just drag your save script down here. All right. The last thing that we're going to do is drag the player into the slot. And now if we hit play and for example, go behind the blue box and we exit the game, enter again. And we are still behind that box. And if we, for example, go behind the left box this time, exit out and re enter, then this time we are behind the left box. So everything worked fine. All right, that was, this, that was it with this tutorial. If you want, I can do another one because you can not only save floats with the player press, but also ints and even strings. So if you want to see that, just type it in the comments and I'll do a video on that too. But for now, this was it with the tutorial. I hope you like it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.